Mick, Dizzle Gaming coming at you. I hope you are doing well today. Thanks so much for stopping by and hit that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe to keep up to date on Red Dead news like this. A number of my viewers have asked me to try to see what I could find about additional horses in the online game files for Red Dead Online. And I am happy to say I found some evidence to support a new horse breed as well as a new coat for an existing breed. I also located stat tracking data for selling horses and wagons in Red Dead Online as well, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Of course, none of this has been confirmed by Rockstar. This is just merely going through the files and presenting the information to you to interpret as we can, so watch at your own risk. I was going through some loot table data and ran into this information, which is referencing three different horses. The Black Turkoman, which we have, the Black American Paint, which we do not have, as well as the Grey Tursk, which is a horse from Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, the Tursk bears some similarities to the Arabian. The reason being is because Arabian mares are bred with various stallions to create the Tursks. And that's why they look a little bit similar with that kind of light head and straight profile and the sloped shoulders. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be reflected in the stats or anything like that, but that's a little background about the real Tursk horse. It was a really cool looking horse in Red Dead Redemption 1, so I'm really interested to see what it looks like in Red Dead 2. Again, none of this is confirmation that this horse is going to be in Red Dead Online or be released, but I can confirm there is mention of this within the game files alongside one released horse and one unreleased horse, the unreleased one being the Black American Paint. It's been nine months since we got any new horses in Red Dead Online, so it would be cool to get a couple new horses. The Tursk is definitely looking cool and it'd be great to have a new horse breed as well as some additional coats for some existing breeds. We'll have to see what happens, if anything. If they do add new horses, man, they've got to add some stable slots. The next thing to share is their stat tracking for Red Dead Online for how many horses sold as well as how many wagons sold. Selling horses and wagons has been a big requested feature of the community since Red Dead Online started, with Rockstar even alluding to it in that introduction mission with Clay saying, we're going to open up shop soon. I don't know if COVID slowed them down or what, just kidding, probably tuberculosis. So I hope we get the ability to sell wagons to a fence and the horses to Clay at some point in the near future. This would go really well with the Outlaw content, so fingers crossed we'd see that sooner than later. So to summarize, within the game files there is reference to a new horse breed, the Grey Tursk, as well as a new coat for the American paint, a black coat, as well as references to how many wagons have you sold and how many horses have you sold in multiplayer. Let me know what you think about all these things in the comments below. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. A big shout out to my McDizzle Gaming members, you guys are amazing. If you want to become a channel member and get some perks like some custom emojis as well as early access to this type of information, the link is in the description for the memberships. That's what we have for today. I'm going to try to do some live streaming over the weekend so we can discuss this a bit more. Feel free to pop in and we can chat about these things. Thanks for watching, hit that like button if you enjoyed, and if you want to keep up to date on this type of content, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.